here in Pennsylvania at the Grand Canyon of Pennsylvania, the Pine Creek Gorge, getting ready to run the Pine Creek from Ansonia to Blackwell. I'm here with some fellow raft guides, Ken, who set up this trip, who's done this run a bunch of times, Paul, who's, it's his first time as well, and one of Ken's friends, John. I'm so excited to be here. I've seen a bunch of videos of doing the West Rim Trail, which goes on the top of the gorge. Yesterday we came and stayed at Colton Point State Park. We did a really nice hike on the rim trail down past the waterfall all the way down to the creek and then back up. It was really cool. We had a great campfire and got a good early start here. I'm looking forward to the Owasi Rapids. The water level is 3.3, which Ken says is nearly perfect here. The water's moving pretty good. When we were at uh, Colton Point State Park yesterday at the One Lookout, we actually saw a boater that was out of his boat swimming from there, which is quite a ways from the Owasi Rapids. So we actually called 911. I hope the guy's okay. So the plan today is to paddle a little bit more than halfway. Our campground is near an island and a spring. Then tomorrow we're going to just have a whole day at camp, pretty much to do nothing. There's a hike that Ken's going to take me on up to the rim. And other than that, just relax, read a book, and enjoy a fire and some good company. Then on Sunday, we'll just paddle out. I guess it's about a two hour paddle out to Blackwell, and then we'll have to shuttle cars back and pack up and go home. So if you saw my video on three day meal plan for kayaking, I'm trying a whole bunch of new meals from Chef Corso and Monte Boca. It's all kind of freshly prepared stuff. This is my first time kind of going away from mountain house dehydrated meals to making my own food. So I'm gonna chronicle that throughout my trip here. So I didn't know if I was gonna eat lunch on the river or before we got on the river and it looks like I'm gonna eat it right here but all those guys are shuttling the cars. And it's pretty simple today. I just got a chicken salad packet and some pita chips. So I'm gonna just illustrate to you the difference between a canoe camper and a kayak camper and a backpacker. So here is Ken's boat. He's been a long time canoeist, a very good raft guide, but he packs a lot of stuff. Over here is Paul's boat. He's been a canoeist for most of his life and just converted to kayaking and packs a little bit uh, more meagerly. 10 foot whitewater crossover boat. I have everything I need. So the backpacker gets everything in his boat and lives kind of paltry. So far, nice flat paddle. Super excited to be here. This is my first time. Paul, Paul's first time and Ken, I just talked to him, he's done it about 50 times over the last 40 years. And uh, it's beautiful so far. I'm also looking forward to this trip to kind of dial in my gear for my main trip coming up at the beginning of June. We're gonna spend uh, eight days on the Allagash River. We're coming up to our first little rapid. We'll see how these loaded boats handle. Ken's going first. So we're getting to the Narrows right before the Owasi Rapids. And John was saying that this was formed because the glaciers came to this point, but the ice couldn't flow, so it started damming up. This actually, in prehistoric times, would have flowed north, like the Genesee River and the Cat. But because that ice kept damming it up, it changed the flow of the river and created these Narrows, which created the Rapids and shifted the flow of this creek to south. Pretty cool. So around this bend, I can see it. You can see the bubbly water kind of starting. I'm very excited to run this rapid. So right up there is Colton Point, where we stayed last night. We're gonna pull up on this island. I think we're just gonna go scout the rapid quick so that we know what it looks like in the lines since we don't run this every day. Well, I was telling John what I would suggest. I can go first. I might try and hit the setting. Okay. But I think you could hit it real easy. 
Yeah. Maybe you could follow me and hit the eddy, and then those two guys will come last. Okay. And if they have any issues, you can uh, All right. see if you can help them. Owasi Rapid. Here we go. So we made it through the Owasi Rapid. Nobody swam, which was good. It wasn't too bad. It was actually a lot of fun, actually. It was a pretty long rapid and uh, had a lot of nice wave trains to catch. That was good. Paul and John did a great job and Ken, I think he could do this with his eyes closed. guys nice job how was this Owasi rip great rapid? to be alive <laughs> great nice loved job. it all right haven't haven't experienced it in we a gotta decade. come back again mike mm -hmm. yeah i like that that was fun that was fun you want to see how it starts to widen out now yep that's the way it's going to be all the way down now. So we have gotten to a point where the river has widened quite a bit. It's still moving, not really any rapids. There's some fun riffles. The canyon has gotten a little wider and we're looking for our camp. We kind of want to get ahead of the group of rafters behind us. I think they got more beer than food. And uh, we want to get a campsite before they get there. So we're kind of scooting ahead and going to try to find our site. So you can see where the mountain kind of cut out there. There's a bike trail right there. Pretty cool. You've seen a lot of people riding their bikes here. This used to be the watering station for the railroad. And I guess it's the last road down into the gorge. Looks like a kind of a nice place to camp. A lot of people though. Hopefully ours is a little more private and secluded. Check out that shack on the top of the rock face wonder what that's yeah, yeah. it's up there yeah. beautiful area gorge walls are getting a lot steeper here and closer to the to the creek wow there's a pretty nice cliff face right there. Really cool. Looks like we found our campsite. This is it. This is it. This is it. Home sweet home for a couple days. Looks nice. Doesn't look like much right now, but this is going to be transformed into our camp. Another couple nights in a hammock. I decided not to set up the bug net. The bugs aren't really bad right now, but everything came out really good. 
hopefully I had some back issues. Hopefully I get some better sleep. Last night was pretty good in the hammock. Now to get some water, probably some firewood, and let's go get some dinner. All right, so I'm excited about my first meal, beef stroganoff. I'm gonna chop in mushrooms, put in the peas and some beans first into some water and then add the rest of the ingredients. I pre-packaged all of the dry ingredients at home and those are going in now. Okay, beef stroganoff, first attempt. Looks pretty good. Smells really good. We're gonna let it cool down a little bit and give it a try. I might have put a little too much water. It's not creamy like beef stroganoff, but I also didn't use the recipe exactly because I was doing it for a single portion. Maybe a little more of the powdered milk will make it a little creamier in the future. But the taste is right there. The beef jerky is nice and tender. Having the fresh peas and mushrooms in there, really, really good. Still a little hot. I approve Chef Corso. Good meal. So how was day one on the pine? Day one on the pine. Paul? Excellent. Great <laughs> trip. It was fantastic. The most fun I've had in a long time. Yeah, nobody yeah. dumped either. In a canoe. <laughs> that was the only disappointing part about it. John, what's your saying? It's great to be alive. <laughs> I love it. Don't let the old man in. <laughs> Day two of our Pine Creek trip. Today is just a day at camp. I'm looking forward to that hike up that ridge. I guess we got a ferry across the creek and hike up that ridge. Looks to be really cool. Really looking forward to it. And right now I'm looking forward to some coffee and breakfast burritos. Today's breakfast, it's gonna be a breakfast burrito. This is my DIY dehydrated eggs polenta and salsa version. And we're gonna just put enough water to coat. Hopefully that's enough. I'll let that sit for a while. I'm gonna put it in my warming pouch so it stays warm. We'll let that rehydrate and we'll prepare our avocado, bacon, and tortilla to get in the burrito, with some salsa and hot sauce. And we'll get some more coffee going. burrito waiting for those eggs to rehydrate and give it a try okay so we're pretty rehydrated might have put a little too much water but looks pretty good just spoon it on my burrito it looks pretty good well hopefully it tastes as good as it looks Delicious. Tastes like eggs in a burrito. Consistency is really good. Taste is really good. Love the avocados in there. 
So the final verdict on the breakfast burrito is definitely a keeper. The eggs were really good. Um, the, having the salsa and the hot sauce, the avocado was perfect with the bacon. I would add maybe cheese in the future. Didn't bring any cheese, but I think that would be a good addition. But I'm looking forward to tomorrow's breakfast and uh, see how it tastes with the Idahoan potatoes versus the polenta. But I would totally eat that every day. We had kind of a slow morning, kind of nice. Good conversations, got some trip, trip plans ready for Maine. Now we're gonna ferry across and Ken and I are gonna climb that high ridge that we saw yesterday. So we got a quick ferry across and now we're gonna head up to the ridge up there somewhere, right Ken? Correct, yep. We gotta head up to the railroad tracks and cross the creek and then start going up the side of the hill. Somebody's not happy. <laughs> so we're not quite sure if that's a hawk or maybe a peregrine falcon. It's kind of making a funny noise. It must have a nest around here and there's actually two of them. You can hear the other one crying over there and this one's trying to get us away. There's the other one. Amazing overlook, Ken. Yeah. Thanks for bringing me here. Yeah, Appreciate great. it. I'm glad you like it. This is amazing. It's definitely worth it. Ken's expert navigation took us right over the top of the outcropping up there, right to this landmark. He says he remembers this tree. It's pretty distinctive. We're working our way down to the creek, and it's pretty steep. That was quite the bushwhack, though. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it's not, not easy. Kind of straight down and rocky and easier, lots of leaf litter. Easier than going up. Yeah. For me, anyway. This is, this is beautiful. Yeah, and if you keep going upstream, you eventually come to a path. The creek widens out and there's mm -hmm. a path on one side. Oh, cool. There's supposed to be a farm or something up in there. Ready to do the traditional head dunk in the waterfalls coming off into Pine Creek. Hopefully he doesn't fall in. There you go. That's the way to do it. Don't drink the water. <laughs> Good job.
I was uh, pretty bummed that I didn't get a fishing license. And I didn't know what I was going to do all day today, but <laughs> this was a cool hike. I agree. So cool that the hike up was awesome. The outcropping is awesome. Your bushwhack down was pretty cool. And that creek walk is amazing. Yeah, I the, think that's the best part of the hike. Yeah, I wasn't expecting waterfalls in a canyon like that. Yep. Oh, yeah. made it all worthwhile. Yeah. Now I don't mind sitting on my butt the rest of the day and yeah. not fishing. There you go. <laughs> Yeah, well, I'm glad you liked it, Mike. Cool. Thank you for taking me there. That was amazing. You're welcome. Today's lunch, pretty simple. I'm gonna go with a Asian meal, some ramen. I have this Aloha teriyaki beef jerky, some peas, and some mushrooms. Pretty simple. I know it's gonna be good. Okay, so the taste test. This should be pretty cut and dry. Added a little bit of hot sauce, actually. Tastes good. There's a little bit of the teriyaki beef jerky, rehydrated. It's nice and tender, good flavor. Perfect, perfect for ramen noodles. So if you wanna put a little meat and protein in your ramen, I highly suggest the Aloha teriyaki or a teriyaki flavor beef jerky. Really good. I'm gonna go eat this by the creek. Hey guys! Good for them. Yeah, they were just playing in the water. Now they're splashing the right off. Ready for what's called Party on the Rocks. We got John's beer. He's fishing across the way. I got some whiskey. What do you got, a couple beers? I got actually one of John's beers too. <laughs> I'll put this one back. All right. <laughs> Hello. How you doing, guys? And I guess this is a tradition that uh, has happened on the pine, so I'm gonna take part. And we'll see what it is. Supposedly we have to throw a rock across the river. I don't know if I can do it. Where it's less current, and we put over when we get closer to our landing spot. Somebody's got to explain the tradition here. That's got to be Ken. <laughs> the tradition of Party on the Rock started about 30 some years ago where a group of us would come down and get a little, drink a little bit and have a lot of fun. And after dinner or before dinner on Saturday evening, we would paddle over with some booze and beers and have a little Party on the Rocks. And that's the end of the story. <laughs> I guess there's a tradition for this to try to get across the creek with a rock, so I'm going to give it a try. Okay, Mike. Show us what you got. Mike, you'll be surprised. It'll go pretty far. I'll try the little heavier one first. Yeah. Oh, I don't, know, I don't know if I caught that. But <laughs> now, now you know how, how hard... There yeah, goes. the trajectory is the important thing. Mm -hmm. Throwing a little three quarter there. He, oh, oh, come on, Mike, one more try. I'm more concerned about going down yeah. than the distance. But Mike gets the extra foot. You might work. You should hook a rope thing. You got it. Yeah, all right. Nice job. The man wins a prize. This has been a great trip. Right. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers, guys. This has been amazing. On the pine. Party on the rocks. Party on, Party the, on the rocks. rocks. All right. I like it. I like your style. Now we can go back and go to bed. <laughs> <laughs> so the final dinner of the trip is going to be the turkey day stuffing bowl. I have the dry ingredients. They didn't get too crushed. Cranberries, turkey stuffing. And I forget what else is in there. I'll have to check. Chicken. And we're gonna put some beans and peas along with a little bit of oil. Looking forward to this one, it sounds delicious. Came out pretty good. Looks pretty good. I mean, it kind of looks like a, a mishmash of a whole bunch of stuff. Doesn't look like uh, stuffing that much, but I think it's gonna be pretty good. It's really good. 
The other ingredient that I forgot was a gravy packet. Oh. I approve of this one. <laughs> this one's coming to Maine for sure. Could it be a little it's better with the gravy? It has gravy. Oh, I there, thought you There's a gravy it. packet in it. Oh, you did put it yeah, in it. Yeah, yeah. I couldn't remember the, the ingredients before, but it's a keeper for sure. He would worked in production, worked with them for years. And uh, good guy, good worker. So today's breakfast, much like the other days, this is my dehydrated eggs. This time this is the Idahoan potatoes and with a little bit of the powdered milk. Same breakfast burrito, avocado, bacon, salsa, and then the dehydrated eggs and a little splash of hot sauce. It was delicious yesterday. Should be a great start to the day today, along with some Carnation Instant Breakfast. We have about a two hour paddle to our takeout and then we got to shuttle cars it looks like a might rain today so we're packing up early at least getting our tent and everything done we can hang out in the tarp for breakfast if we need to so far awesome trip can't wait to get to the end and see what that looks like So while the other guys are breaking down camp, making breakfast, I'll do a little bit of a recap of gear and meals. So by way of meals, I had the two breakfast burritos with my DIY dehydrated eggs. That's definitely a keeper. Loved it with the avocado, salsa, hot sauce, bacon. If I have cheese, that would be a good bonus to put in there, but I'm definitely gonna use that one again. By way of lunches, the ramen with the teriyaki jerky and mushrooms was definitely tasty. Um, filled me up too. And then on dinners, uh, stroganoff was very good. I made it a little bit watery, maybe a little bit more powdered milk next time, but the taste was really good. And I loved the turkey day stuffing bowl. That was a huge meal. It was nice having the fresh vegetables in there really really tasty that's definitely going to be on my list as well the one thing i didn't eat was the chicken enchilada dorito bowl um, it just didn't work out with lunches and that kind of stuff i ended up having a packet of tuna salad and crackers um, before we put in for lunch and then it was just dinner after that so all in all the meal plan was really good um, the eggs i don't know if i would eat them as just scrambled eggs it would need to be in a burrito or mixed in with like a, a hash browns or something else the consistency wasn't quite scrambled eggs uh, it was a little bit finer pieces but that's kind of to be expected and by way of gear i'm loving this trekology chair it's uh, very comfortable the other guys tried it out um, this is the backpacking version that doesn't have the adjustable legs uh, since they're kayakers and canoers, they're going to go with a little heavier version um, with the adjustable legs, but this is really comfortable for me. Um, hammock worked out good. Sleeping bag was great. I used the, I used the, my zero degree outdoor vitals, which I'm glad I brought that instead of my 30 degree because it got chilly. Oh yeah, and one more thing. There's been two animals that I've wanted to see in the Northeast that I've never seen. No, one was a porcupine, the other's a moose. So last night when I went to my hammock, <clears throat> there was a porcupine coming towards me and I scared him away. He came back two or three times after that. I ended up having to throw a rock at him. Uh, and I think he still came back one, one time after that. So I saw the porcupine, 
Hopefully on the main trip we see a moose. If Ooh, not, well. if not, Paul owes me a steak and a beer. That's right, several beers. <laughs> I'll take you up on that, Not but I'd rather, I'd rather see the moose. So 9.45, we're on the water. We paddled 13 miles on the first day to this camp, and now we got about five miles out for the total of 18 miles. We are taken out at Blackwell and then have to shuttle back to Ansonia to get our cars. Supposedly there's only just a few riffles, no major rapids. Should be a nice paddle. Nice trip, guys. Here you go. Nice trip, yeah, nice Mark. trip, Beautiful. nice trip, Ken. Nice trip. Thank yes, you for sir. being our guide. Yeah. was an awesome place. So that was Pine Creek and the Grand Canyon of Pennsylvania, also known as the Pine Creek Gorge. Really cool paddle. Great bunch of guys that I went with. Got all my gear dialed in for our main trip. Meal plan, I think, dialed in for the main trip. Can't wait to get back here. It's a really cool paddle, really cool hikes, and uh, really had a great time. So I hope you liked this video. If you did, be sure to click that like button. If you wanna see other outdoor adventures, gear reviews, how-tos, subscribe to my channel. That's it for now. I'll see you guys outside.